What is poppin' residents of the Master Clan? This is your boy Six Mice the Man coming at y'all with a brand new video. So this is the start to what if Naruto and Hinata got together early, and this is gonna hopefully be along with a series with on the channel. And yeah, if you want to see this series continue, make sure to like, subscribe, and spam something in the comments to get my attention. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm. Also, this is a series edited by our beautiful editor, Steak Uchiha, and our intros and outros are created by the Dragon Lord. Check out all my socials, link in the description. And yeah, let's get into this. So, we start off with the young Naruto, seeing a purple haired girl, or bluish haired girl if you really want to, get bullied by some bigger children. They were shouting insults like white eyed freak and similar other insults. Naruto would run in only to get beaten up by said bullies, and the girl would just stand there, pretty confused. She'd be like, why did you help me if you were just gonna hurt, get hurt yourself? Naruto would smile and say, Cause that's my Nindo, my ninja way. I will become the Okage and show everyone I'm respectable. My name's Naruto, what's up? And Hinata would just say, Huh, interesting. My name's Hinata. She'd help him up because to get this started off, she's not gonna be as shy, but the shyness will peek through a little bit. So, after a small conversation with Naruto and Hinata, they start work, uh, walking, asking each other questions like uh, Naruto and Hinata would ask each other where their parents are. Naruto would say that he's an orphan. Hinata would say that, well, she is the head of the uh, the heir to the Hyuga clan, and she don't know where her guard went. So Naruto would obviously be like, oh, the Hyuga compound? I know where that is. Follow me. He'd lead her there, and on the way there, they'd run into her guard obviously starts rumbling around like yo lady Hinata where were you they'd get a back and forth and the guard would in this one thank Naruto for saving her he'd also be a little cautious he doesn't really want Hinata around her but he can't really control it in hopes of uh, getting her to leave him alone he'd just say lady Hinata please stay away from that kid she'd ask him why and he'd reply with he's the nine tails Hinata would have a sudden freeze. She'd look up with a terrified look in her eyes and just speed up her walking. Even though her legs are small, she's going pretty fast. When they get to the Hyuga compound, she sees her father looking at Neji Train. Up until this point, Neji has been her inspiration and the one she looked up to. But now she's starting to remember something Naruto said. I'm going to become Hokage to protect everyone in the village and show them that they should respect me. She thinks, if he's the demon fox, then why does he want to protect everyone? Easy, because he's not. He only holds the demon fox. That doesn't make him it. She puts together in her fragile child brain. And would come to the conclusion that Naruto's not that bad of a kid and would sometimes convince her guard to let her see Naruto. After a while of him listening into their conversations, he'd realize that Naruto ain't that bad of a kid, and he'd kind of be okay with Hinata being around her. Obviously, if this got to Hiyashi, that would be really bad. One day, Naruto would be out punching a tree when Hinata and her guard got there. She'd obviously ask him what he's doing, and he said he's getting stronger, because Shinobi needs to be strong. She'd be intrigued. Maybe she should get stronger and then help Naruto get stronger because he doesn't have a clan. He doesn't really have anyone to help teach him. At this point, they are around five and a year away from entering the academy. So, basically, what's going to happen is Hinata is going to go back to the Hewitt compound after that day and actually start taking her training seriously. This would also get rid of the cause of... Hiyashi thinking that Hanabi is stronger than Hinata because Hinabi uh, hasn't yet shown that she is stronger. Hinata would get chakra uh, chakra training down pretty quickly and uh, would be able to obviously climb up trees. Obviously, this would shortly be followed by water walking because chakra control is heavily, uh, highly regarded within the Hyuga clan. This would also give Neji someone to train with. Hinata has not yet unlocked her uh, Byakugan, but she has grown a lot within her stances in the last few months that she's known Naruto. This is when she'd go back to Naruto for the first time in about a week. She'd 
basically tell Naruto what she knows and he would start trying. He wouldn't really know how to channel his chakra and she'd explain it as a flowing river. Your chakra flows throughout your body like a river and can be interrupted by you bursting out of your chakra points, which basically causes ninjutsu. Naruto would take a while to understand this, but by the end of the day, he had started trying to do a tree climb. He would burst off the tree or slip down it, continuously. He'd be a little confused and a little tired, but he decided he'd practice it further. Hinata's guard would tell her that it's time for her to go back to the compound, and they would. This same night is the night that Hinata would get captured, or uh, something similar to that. She would be captured by some cloud nin trying to steal... Uh, obviously trying to steal the Hyuga clan's dojutsu, this would be the same uh, night or, or the same event that would cause Neji's dad's death. But instead of that happening, what would happen is Naruto would be the one to chase after her. He'd eventually uh, get beaten down by the man but not give up. He'd burst himself off the floor as he did earlier that day on the tree. Not really on purpose, but more of frustration, trying to gain his speed using chakra and his mind somewhat remembering what Hinata told him. He'd burst towards him, tackling him to the ground just in time for Hiyashi to show up. Hiyashi would question why the Ninetales brat is here. This is when Hiyashi would obviously try to smack him away like, you helped capture my daughter, shit like that. But Hinata's bodyguard would jump in the way. He'd quickly explain that Naruto saved her one day while she snuck out of the compound and probably did the same here. They've been secretly seeing each other and becoming friends throughout the a few last months. Hiyashi would give him a glare, but eventually stand down. They'd take uh, the representative of the cloud, which is the person that kidnapped her, into custody and take him to the Hokage's office, where Ambu would take him from there. So the entire event of Neji's dad dying would not happen, so in general, Neji would be a more relatable character and would get a lot more work within the series. This is where work would really start happening. For the next month or so, Hinata would be grounded and wouldn't be allowed to go out. Also, Hiyashi just gave her guard a skull, uh, basically scolded her guard and whatsoever. But after this month of her being grounded, Naruto would sneak into the Hyuga compound wanting to see her. Luckily for him, tonight's guard would be Hinata's bodyguard. And he wouldn't really say anything about Naruto sneaking in. By the time Naruto would get to her, Hiyashi and some other Hyuga already knew he was there. And Hiyashi would make his way to outside Hinata's room. He wouldn't burge in because he's really curious to what the Nine Tails brat wants to do with his daughter. They just have some civil conversation and Naruto would say that it's been a little lonely without her because, you know, she's his only friend. This would hit Iyashi with a different curiosity. The kid doesn't seem aggravated at all. So, this would cause Naruto and Inata to have a conversation and him deciding to leave. But as he decides he's gonna leave and come back another day, Hiyashi would open the door. No need, young Uzumaki. It's okay, he'd say. This is obviously a little odd, but that's not going to matter for long. He'd say that he sees that Naruto has good intentions and would allow her him to be with Hinata, uh, to be friends with Hinata and they could relax in the Hyuga compound where he could keep an eye over them. This would start of the series with some little confidence. So Naruto and Hinata would have just started up their friendship in public. Usually, they would have to hide away in the forest or things similar to that. But now, nearly every day, Naruto would make his way to the Hyuga compound, where people didn't seem to hate him. The only person that seemed to have a dislike towards him was Neji. Even though Neji's father told him to lighten up, Neji was a grumpy kid. That's all I could really say for Neji. While this is occurring, necessarily, Hiyashi would be sitting there looking at Naruto and Hinata. Hinata would take her uh, training from the last week and then sum it up into one lesson and teach it to Naruto. Hiyashi would realize that his daughter is a prodigal genius along with Neji, two really strong uh, Hyugas in one generation. This is amazing. But Nar Hinata never used to do this. She used to be a slacker. Maybe this Naruto is a good influence. He might even give them some training himself one day, but not for now. 
he'd go back in and send Hinata's guard out to help with the training because that's what he has been doing the last few weeks. He has been helping Hinata and Naruto with their training, even though he shouldn't be allowed to. It's been several months and Naruto has finally gotten his water walking done since he hasn't really been practicing only that. He's even been practicing a version of the Jugen stance that is not used by the main branch, but is something Hinata's guard invented himself. Hinata would take inspiration from this and start making her own adjustment to the stances. And eventually, Naruto would want to learn a jutsu. This wouldn't really come in clutch since the Hyuga members don't really use ninjutsu. They're prided on their jugen stances. So that's not going to come into account until a little bit later. But chakra control is something they got down. I'd say another year would pass and Naruto would get really good with his chakra control to the point where he could burst chakra from the soles of his hands and fingers to make a similar effect than what the jugen stance is meant for which is bursting chakra points. He wouldn't use it in the same sense as Hinata's guard would have seen that this was not all too effective and would have taught him how to burst it out as a solid blow. So something similar to the air palm, just not as highly scaled. The first day of the academy would begin. Sakura, Ino would have their thing with Sasuke and Naruto and Hinata would keep to themselves. Sakura and Ino would have just established their rivalry and dominance through Sasuke, and about a week has passed since they started fangirling. After this week has passed, the first official testing of skills would come up. This would obviously be regarded in uh, either ninjutsu, taijutsu, uh, or genjutsu for the shinobi portion. Then an academical test and also a physical exam. The physical exam would just make sure that all the kids are in, physical, uh, in physically good shape, and the rest is self-explanatory. They'd start off with a ninjutsu portion, which shouldn't really affect any of the kids except the clan kids, who pretty much all use at least one jutsu. With Hinata obviously having chakra control, she'd just climb up a tree because that's their form of uh, the only form of chakra they use. And Naruto would do the same. Iruka, Naruto's current teacher, would not expect uh, have expected this, but he would accept it. Naruto having someone by his side would also not become a prankster, but he would be a really lonely kid, only having a friend in Hinata. At this point in time, Naruto would be put up against Sasuke for the Taijutsu portion, which everyone thought Sasuke would obviously win since Naruto doesn't have a clan or parents, he's an orphan. That's not exactly how it will go. Naruto and Sasuke would start it off with Sasuke being an, a, a speed advantage at least, Naruto adapting pretty quickly. He not only uh, gained chakra control to climb up trees and walk over water, but he knows how to use his chakra proficiently. He'd use the same concept he used with his hands to launch himself off the floor to give himself a speed boost, and then focus chakra into his hands to create the burst he usually would, putting Sasuke on his ass and out of breath. At this point, the Uchiha clan has not been massacred, so Sasuke is a little nicer. He would begrudgingly stand up and give up because that was a, a really hard blow. He'd hold his lungs trying to catch his breath and everyone else would just stand in surprise. They're not really hating on Naruto since he is not a prankster. He hasn't given them a reason to hate him. He just spent his time with Hinata. So Sasuke would be walking away but then approached by Naruto like, Yo, sorry for that but didn't mean to. Sasuke would say, <coughs> oh worries and just walk off. As the day would end, Sasuke would go back to the Uchiha or the Uchiha clan building or fucking compound or whatever, and Naruto and Hinata would head back to their uh, to the Hyuga compound where Naruto would have dinner that night. Hiyashi would ask them how their first test go, and Hinata would have beaten Sakura, who she was putting up against, and would have patched all the other portions too, along with Naruto, which at this point would put them in front of the class. Hiyashi obviously took a liking to Naruto within this time and would have greatly encouraged him to academically and physically do well because that's needed for a great shinobi. As Naruto would also have taken a liking to Hiyashi, who is one of the smarter people on the council. He'd explained that even though he is a council member and a noble, he is still one of the least highly classified jonin, not if not a highly classified ambu. But Naruto would just shrug it off. He'd say that, yeah, but you need Jutsu to become Okage, and now that I'm in the academy, I can finally learn some of those. 
Hiyashi would laugh and say, you don't need to, you have the Jugen stance. And they'd eat their food to the sunset. But that is gonna be it guys. I really hope y'all enjoyed and thank you to Steak for editing this video. If y'all could smash like and subscribe, I would highly appreciate it. And yeah, our intro and outro was created by the Dragon Lord. Check out all my socials in the link down below. And yeah, this has been your boy Six. Peace.